Namaskar. This is me, Samsad Ansari, your science teacher. Today we are going to discuss about the numerical problems for acceleration and retardation. So let's start. So the first question here is, a car is moving with a velocity of 20 meter per second. If it takes two seconds to increase its velocity to 40 meter per second, find its acceleration. To do such numerical problems, first of all, we have to mark the numbers which are given here. If we read the question again, we can see here that a car is moving with a velocity of 20 meter per second. So this states that the car has initial velocity of 20 meter per second. The starting velocity is 20 meter per second. If it takes two seconds, means time taken is two seconds to increase its velocity means final velocity to 40 meter per second we have to find out the acceleration so let's do it here initial velocity is 20 meter per second as we have stated here again final velocity is 40 meter per second finally it reaches to 40 meter per second that's why the final velocity will be 40 meter per second and the time taken is two seconds what we need to find out is acceleration so acceleration equals to what you know the formula so by formula we can write that acceleration equals to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time so p minus u whole divided by t keeping the values 40 that is the final velocity minus 20 which is the initial velocity whole divided by 2 and this gives us 20 divided by 2 and that is 10 meter per second square and that is our acceleration so therefore acceleration of the car is 10 meter per second square moving to the next question here a truck is moving with velocity of 30 meter per second which is the initial velocity because it is given as the truck is moving at first with the velocity of 30 meter per second suddenly it applies brake to stop since the truck is stopping the final velocity will be zero and to stop it takes three seconds so the time taken is three seconds and we need to find the acceleration so here from the question initial velocity is 30 meter per second it is the initial velocity of the truck and final velocity is zero meter per second because the truck stops Time taken is 3 seconds as it is given there and we need to find the acceleration. So acceleration equals to what? Again, we'll use the same formula. Acceleration, acceleration is equal to V minus U by T. That is final velocity minus initial velocity by time taken. Keeping the values, V is 0, U 30 and time taken is 3. By doing this, we can get negative 30 divided by 3 that will give us minus 10 meter per second square and hence it is retardation because the negative acceleration is retardation and therefore we can write that the retardation is 10 meter per second square and acceleration is minus 10 meter per second square and i hope it's clear moving to the next question a bicycle starts to move from rest initially here the bicycle is at rest so initial velocity will be zero and if in five seconds the time taken is five second here uh, if in five seconds it reaches to velocity of 30 meter per second so this is the final velocity where the bicycle reaches after five seconds and we need to find out the acceleration again so from the question here initial velocity is zero meter per second because the bicycle is starting from the rest final velocity is 30 meter per second as it reaches to 30 meter per second after five seconds so time taken is five seconds it's clear i guess and acceleration is equal to what we know acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity by time taken Keeping the values, V is 30 meter per second, U 0, 
and time taken is 5 seconds and that gives us 30 minus 30 minus 0 that is 30 divided by 5 which will give us 6 meter per second square and therefore acceleration of the bicycle is 6 meter per second square and I hope it's clear moving to the next question again a boy is running with velocity of 10 meter per second so this is the first velocity means initial velocity of the boy how much time so we don't know the time here so how much time will he take to stop here also the boy has to stop means his final velocity will be zero and with retardation of 2 meter per second square so retardation is given as 2 meter per second square and we know that retardation is the negative acceleration so acceleration will be minus 2 meter per second square so let's solve it here initial velocity is 10 meter per second as it is given here final velocity is 0 meter per second as the boy stops time okay so acceleration a is minus 2 meter per second square because the retardation is given 2 meter per second square and therefore acceleration will be negative or minus 2 meter per second square and time taken t equals to what we will use the same formula again acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity by time we call it a change in velocity keeping the values a we know that it is minus 2 equals to v we know 0 u we know 10 and is divided by t as we don't know t so we'll keep t as it is again here we can divide uh, sorry t is in division form so it will go another side of equals to to change in multiplication form so minus 2 into t will give us 0 minus 10 will give us minus 10 and therefore t will be minus 10 and this 2 is in multiply form now it will go there to divide and because of that t will be minus 10 divided by minus 2 and minus minus get cancelled so t will be 5 seconds and I hope it's clear so therefore the boy takes 5 seconds to stop so that's all for now uh, you can see your books you can search in YouTube also and learn these kind of numericals. So thank you. Stay safe and keep learning.